thank you to Verse Matters and She Girls for having me. Um, I'm going to jump into my first poem, um, but I have some photo references that I've put on my Instagram story. So if you have Instagram, this is also a cheeky way of getting you to follow me. Um, but if you go to Sofa Poems, which is S-O-P-H-H-E-R-D -S Poems, um, I have the picture that this um, poem inspired. Um, I'll describe it. Um, Firstly, so basically, it's a table from my um, when I was at uni in second year. I lived with five people who I'm still really close to, um, and we lived in like this really intense house, and kind of like it was just so messy in that house. Um, and there was this this table in the corner of the lounge, which had like a mouldy chocolate mousse on it. There was like a print, like a Pringles can, like hanging between the sofa and the table. There was like a packet of nuts all over the floor. It was just like chaos and I just think it represented so well like physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally the people that were living in the house with me. Um, so this is basically about the moldy condiments in my house. You are not too sure how long that's been sat there. Lid Curled back, still attached to the plastic mousse, with the, um, with the chocolate mousse now crusted over on the inside. Gaps where the spoon's been still visible through the see-through, see-through bit from the outside. And I'm telling you this as a compliment, which you definitely won't take as a compliment and thank you. You definitely should not take shit from your friends especially when they call you a crusty piece of mousse. <laughs> but if it's any consolation, if you are an artifact of dairy, then I am a spoon. Sticky bottoms to a bowl of cornflakes, luminous, gross, pleased to meet you. I know that we have met before. On the floor of our living room for the hundredth time, trying to get the Wi-Fi to connect. On our undercover trip, so the multi-pack of crisps we knew our friend kept at the end of her bed. We, the martini glass on the edge of the world's best kept secret. Here we have met, time and time again, 3am, honest and pouring out, squashed and crawling out of the stickiness. It has been a privilege to make your acquaintance through each of our unravelings. Thank you for becoming the best reference point for the rest of my life. How can we expect perfection when we drain when we drain each other each other um, no when we scrape each, each, each other clean and we drain each other dry gaps where the spoon spin still visible through the see through see through bit from the outside and I'm telling you this as a compliment thank you.